Hi, the ho everyone. My name's Mr. Fruit, and welcome to Will You Press the Button? Kind of like Would You Rather, except you push a button, and there's some more dilemmas. So instead of this or that, it's this, but this. So if something happens, then you have to take the repercussion. So you have to decide, yes, I'll press the button and accept it, or you won't. So I made a comment yesterday on yesterday's second video, which was kind of weird. Some good reception though, which uh, I'm, I'm happy about. I had a lot of fun with it, it was different. But I'd mentioned that there's not a lot of big games out right now. And, you know, I'm getting used to same old, same old. So we're gonna mix it up, do some more variety. Again, we've always done this, a lot of Indian variety. Um, it never does as well, which is unfortunate, but I understand. Most people are here for AAA shooters, which makes sense. But I appreciate everybody that supports the, the variety stuff like this. So if you're here, thank you very much. But let's get started on the first one. I literally just loaded this up and uh, a load of text. So I'm not really sure what to expect. But it says, you become immortal and have perfect and limited memory, being able to fully recall any event that has ever transpired in your presence. You are unable to die, be injured, or feel pain. Also, you remain in prime physical condition regardless of what age you're condition you are when the button is pressed and are also still able to eat have children and function normally while you can eat you never feel hungry and there's no limit to how much you can eat or what you can eat as long as you chew it with normal human bite strength also you do not need to breathe sounds pretty good right but you will retain you will remain the same for all eternity eventually outliving the human species and anything that comes after eventually you survive the destruction of the solar system and the heat death of the universe and whatever comes after you will not be able to sleep and feel no need for it you will find no refuge in madness as your perfect body keeps you sane for all eternity see now normally that sounds pretty awful but it's saying that your perfect body keeps you sane you know what I mean? So does that mean like my mental process would be completely different and I, I would be fine with it? Cause right now that's terrifying. I'd be like, nope, I don't want any of that. Because uh, I don't know, I'd love to see stuff that comes in the future. You know, if I could time travel, but I don't think I want to live forever or anything like that. It's a lot of pressure and yeah, it would be so depressing seeing everybody you love come and go, come and go. You wouldn't want to get attached to anything, blah, blah, blah. Also, I love to eat, which I guess is good because I don't have to worry about what I eat. I can still eat, just I'm never hungry. I don't know, though. Uh, what I'd like for you guys to do, though, if you do want to participate in the comment section down below, feel free in the comment sections to let me know if you would press the button or not. I will not press the button. Call me crazy. Wow, 59% of people did press the button. Uh, I, I just don't think they realize what they're getting themselves into. If they did, I don't think they would be doing that. You can summon any character creature that has ever been conceived, but each time you want a new character creature, you must kill the old one and can never summon them again. Yes, because if I don't take this, then I never even get to summon any creature or character in the first place. You know what I'm saying? Which, which would kind of be a bit of a bummer, don't you think? So I would take that over having to replace somebody. Because, like, in the event, you can just summon somebody. And if you're 100% sure, you just have them there forever. And that's that's all I need to do. Um, actually, you can't see the comment, but somebody has a pretty good idea. You just summon another summoner. Well, that's I guess that's one way to do it. it well, couldn't you actually summon yourself when you're a summoner? And then keep doing that until you have enough of you and then, you know what I'm saying? Okay, well, regardless, I would press the button without the loot holes no matter what. And 67% of people would because I don't know why you wouldn't. I would take that, yeah, that, the, the con far, the pro far outweighs the con. You get to be in any anime you want. You may get magical or supernatural abilities depending on the setting, but you lose all your memories. Yeah, I'd do that. Probably for the better too, right? I mean, I guess you wouldn't understand. I guess that would just be your world. From at that point, like you would be in that show or whatever you want. Um, I would probably um, go into Pokemon because nobody ever ages. Ha! And there's Pokemon everywhere. And new Pokemon keep like, the, it would never end. You know what I'm saying? I don't actually know which one I would go into, but yeah, I'd press the button. 57% uh, of people would. So, I don't know. I get the whole you lose all your memories. Oh, no! You can live forever in the 90s, but there's no internet. Live forever in the 90s. Well, 
I'm just rocking in the 90s. It's a new and a place to go. Um. Yeah. Might pass. I like the internet. And again, problem, you live forever. I don't know if I want to live forever. I would just be stuck in the same... There would be no progression. That's the other thing, too. Like, I'd want to live forever so I could at least see what comes after. You know? But in that case, nothing would change. Uh, I'm actually not going to. 72% did not. Ah, must be a lot of millennials. Hey, <laughs> hey, You are immortal, but you lose your memory every 200 years. Well, that sucks. And I feel like... I feel like if you were to do that, you would lose all the experiential stuff you gain, like your knowledge. But on the other hand, actually kind of a good thing. Because the problem about Immortal is understanding your situation. But if every 200 years it's a blank slate, kind of, and you forget all that pain and suffering, I'm actually going to press the button. Simply because of the whole lose your memory. If it wasn't for the whole lose your memory, I might not. But I feel like that's interesting. I don't know. I don't think I'd still be immortal, but that's one of the cases where I would go immortal. For that reason. Like, the downside's kind of an upside. You succeed in anything you attempt to do, but you'll always be blamed for something that isn't your fault. I actually would not. Because I've actually had this dilemma, so like, or I've thought about this, in a sense. If you're born some way, right? But like, you had the ability to just be good at whatever you did. Isn't that boring? At what point are you challenged? You know, you would just be super good at everything. And I think at that point, it's really boring. I actually wouldn't take that. So I don't think the pro, I wouldn't even take the pro, even if it was without a con, but also being blamed for something that isn't your fault would also suck. Um, so I will not press the button. And I was in the minority. Clearly they are mistaken. They have lost their, lost their light. You can have every single game in the world, but you become Brad Davis. Terrible at all games. Pass. I don't want to have every single game in the world. I already have more than I know what to do with. Or like, I just don't have enough time. I, would, I don't even know where I'd find that time. And for me, I find succeeding to be fun in a lot of games. Some games, you don't need that. But some games, it's like, if I'm not succeeding, sometimes I'm not having fun. So I would, I would say, no, not going to press that one. Uh, I was in the major majority of the people that said no. So nailed it. You can fly, but if anyone sees you, you will turn to stone. That's a um, pass. It'd be cool to fly, but if anyone sees you, you will turn to stone. Yeah, uh, risking a little bit of flight for just... Permanent? No, I'm not doing that. Uh, I was in the majority, so that's good to know. People aren't crazy. Another thing you could do instead of numbering your comments, by the way, you could just be like, the flying one, this, because I've already lost track. There were like seven. Don't app. You, you, you'll have to keep track at this point. You can breathe underwater, but your eyes have to be closed. There's actually, wow, people are finding all the loopholes in this one. <laughs> okay. This comment is take a breath, open your eyes, and when you're out of breath, close your eyes for a while. Yeah, I guess that's I guess that's one way to do it. But let's assume there's no loophole. And you could just breathe underwater forever, but your eyes have to be closed. I'd either need to teach myself echolocation or pass. Uh I don't know. I don't know if I I, I would be more scared if I couldn't see. Cause then Lord knows where I am. Uh, I'm not gonna press it. I was in the minority. What do you know? Next, you can travel through time, but you have to travel back and kill your grandfather. What? Why? That seems so bizarre. Um, if I kill my grandfather, then then I wouldn't exist, right? Or is it saying like, right now? It doesn't make sense. That's it. It seems like they're trying to fool me into killing myself, because if my grandfather never existed, then. Neither my son, or not my son, my mom or dad would exist, which means I would never be born, right? So, no. And most agree with me. Okay. You have the ability to enter any game world at any time, but if you die, you die in real life. Ah, 
the classic you die you die in real life uh cliche thing ah uh, i'm gonna probably have to pass i mean again i could go with pokemon nobody dies in pokemon although that doesn't seem real uh there have been some things when people actually die so uh, i guess i'd have to pass unless i could enter a game world that was actually like you just can't die you know what i mean like there's physically no dying um which i guess yeah because then i would only travel to places that i knew for sure i couldn't die so sure um i guess i was in the majority cool that was an interesting one though i, I think i like to do it i'd even maybe take a risk you know hop in hop out um interesting idea you get your dream car but you can only drive it naked uh, that's I'm sorry you I already drive naked that's I understand so uh, I don't really I don't really care too much about dream cars you know I don't I, I like a Corvette but it, it doesn't really make or break and I never really drive um, and also this would just complicate just on so many different levels so I'm just gonna not uh, I was in the minority. You are the fastest human alive, but no one knows that. Why would I care? Because I, I could just use it. Is it talking like the the difference of me being faster than the fastest human is like at a milliseconds in a, in a hundred meter run or something, you know, like, or is it like I'm the flash kind of thing? In which case, I don't really care if no one knows that I'm the fastest person, right? Maybe that's even better that no one knows that. So I'm, I'm going to press the button. And yeah, most people agree with me. You can have any superpower you wish, but you may never use the internet ever again. You only get one superpower though, right? That's what it seems to be insinuating. You can have any superpower you wish. But although it doesn't say what, um, cause then I just wish I have every superpower. I don't know though. Could I entertain myself without the internet? Maybe. Does that mean, still mean I could use TV or something? Go to the movies? For superpowers? I'm actually gonna press this. I don't know if I ah, see. I do I know, the internet's a lot to me, but superpowers. I don't know. I, I guess I'll press it. Most people said yes. You can have every pair of shoes you want forever, but they make all but they all make that squeaky shoe noise. I don't care. I I just got new shoes, and the first time in three years. Last pair I had lasted me three years. I I buy a pair of shoes. Treat them right, and I'll have them last me as long as possible, then I buy another one. That's all I care about, shoes. So, no, I'm not... That doesn't bother me much. That was actually really close. Pretty split. You can control people with your thoughts, but you have three legs and five arms. Three legs, five arms? Sounds like I'm stronger and faster. What would be the problem? I assume maybe anatomy-wise, since we weren't meant to have that many, I don't know, maybe it'd be difficult to do things like daily things or walk or exist i don't really know weight distribution but control people with my thoughts it's interesting i'll press it why not i don't actually know if i would if this is like a life or death situation probably say no it's kind of weird but do it for now you can have any superpower you want but it will have crippling side effects like the inability to walk uh, so like any crippling side effect? I mean, if that's the case, I would just take the superpower fly and then I'd never need to walk again. I could just like slowly levitate above the ground if I need to and move, I guess. I don't know too much of it. This one's too vague to really get into, uh, but yeah, sure. You became, you become a famous internet meme, but you are bad luck, Brian. That's rough, but I'll do it. Hey, anything for the memes, am I right? <laughs> Apparently nobody wants to be bad like Brian. Become the ruler of humanity. All will follow and obey your commands unquestionably, but you lose all sense of sight, taste, touch, and smell. You must communicate through sound, and your senses can never be recovered. Uh, pass? I'm not even really going to think about that one. My senses mean a lot to me. And again, this whole, like, become the ruler of everything, I sh it's just, it's nothing people would go crazy with that kind of power. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. All your positive attributes, intelligence, looks, physical prowess, etc. are enhanced by two times. <laughs> that still means I'm about 25% less attractive than the average person. 
Uh, but you have to sacrifice half of your lifespan. Nope. Take my lifespan. And hopefully find somebody that doesn't care as much about that. Yeah, pass. Uh, doubling my, my properties doesn't really help me at all. So... You can have any car you want and change it whenever you want, but you have to listen to the worst radio station in your town whenever in the car. It doesn't say I have to have the volume up. I could just mute it. Or at least have it at like the lowest volume setting. I'll do that. Simply because of the fact that any car and change it whenever you want. I Honestly, I don't even really listen to the radio anyway when I'm in the car. I just rolled my, down my windows and let the hair, or let the, let the wind take my hair. You can turn invisible whenever you want, but you can't spy on women. Ah, yes, the first thing I was gonna do if I went invisible. Um, yeah, that's okay. So I can't spy on women, but I could do anything else I can do when I'm invisible. Yeah? Because, like, the, these seem silly to me because it's not, it's not making me do anything that I wouldn't already be able to do. Like, this is literally just net positive. Literally just things I couldn't do before and I don't lose anything that I could have done before. You know? So, of course I'm gonna take it. You get to marry your sibling's hottest friend, but you have to have a threesome with your sibling. I will not. I'm gonna pass on that one, that's gross. Oh. You get to live in the Monster Hunter universe, but you'll have to spend the rest of your life there and you can't bring anyone with you. Not a big fan of the Monster Hunter universe. Also, I don't, well, I don't know much about it, so it's hard to say. Monsters would be cool. Kind of scary. I feel like it's a lot easier to die there. Is it saying I still get to respawn and stuff? In which case, I'd probably do it. But I like my friend. I want to take my friend with me, so I'll say I will not. You will be the best writer in the world, but you will make typos all the time. Um, I already do that. <laughs> and I would just get proofreaders. And yeah, if I'm the best writer, I could afford... Literally just a team of proofreaders every time I finish something. So I'm going to go with a yes. You survived the apocalypse and will take part in the new beginning of human society, but all your loved ones perished. New beginning of human society. Does that even sound that fun? Especially to lose, lose all my loved ones? Probably not. Pass. And with that, I think we'll end this video. The will you press the button episode if you guys did enjoy this we can do some more But feel free to comment down below you don't have to do everyone But like a few of those that you found most interesting or perhaps ones you disagree with me Feel free to let me know and explain why or whatever loopholes you guys found in all these kind of questions It's always fun to just kind of just think about these You know play around with them with your mind But with that said I want to thank you all very much for watching have yourselves a fantastic I'll talk to you in the next one farewell